the chances of a major mishap are higher with these boats. They're just higher speed boats, they're more extreme, and it is part and parcel of this new America's Cup. There's potential for some major calamity, so it's best to be prepared. Yeah, we've got a code red, the boat has just capsized. We're about a mile and a half from the Golden Gate Bridge, and um, I'll come back to you in a moment to get the crisis team together. It's sort of a mock crisis where everyone will do their jobs using the communications uh, with scenarios unfolding before us as we sort of work together to solve the problems. In a crisis situation like this, you have to have a chain of command. What you need now is a crisis manager who is in charge of the situation, can take a step back and look at the big picture and delegate authority appropriately. So now we've taken the steps to make a designated crisis manager and then my job is to manage the communications uh, with all the different parties that are often involved in these situations. We've got the uh, major engine person is in the water and we're still uh, attempting recovery. Copy, thank you, over. And so between the two of us, we, we share the responsibility, but the ultimate crisis manager is Murray Jones. We're gonna roll it like that. And then we um, come and hook up the tow. And basically it's a primary and a secondary. If one crisis manager is on the, on the yacht itself racing that day, then it falls to the secondary person who's gonna be on, out on one of the chase boats. We'll see hopefully any holes in our plan that we have now. But that needs to be communicated because you guys have figured out which way you want, you want to, to do it. Find out what's going to work and find out what's not going to work.